Hey y'all, let's take a look at the equation of a line through two points. Okay, now this is, if you remember, um, <clears throat> one thing we talked about before, you might not remember, it's okay. When they asked you, which is what they're gonna be doing for the rest of the year is, what, write the equation of the line that does this and has this slope and it passes through these points and it does this and it jumps up on its head, and, you know, acts like a giraffe or whatever they tell you to do. You've got to simply train yourself to go like this. When they say, find the equation of a line that does this, you go, Without even thinking, you go y equals mx plus b. Okay, and don't forget, this m stands for the slope. Make sure you know that. That's the slope. The b stands for the y-intercept. Make sure you, that's, you've got to know those two things. This is absolutely what you should do whenever they ask you for the equation of a line. Just write, without even thinking, y equals it, slope x plus the y-intercept. Boom. Y equals mx plus b. The two things you need for the equation of the line is the slope and you need the y-intercept. You don't have to worry about the x and the y. They're, they'll take care of themselves. You get the m, you get the b, and you got it. Okay? So let's find those two things. All right? This is a, an example. So get your graph paper out. Let's take a look. <clears throat> and they'll tell you. Find the equation of the line passing through those two points. Okay. Here's what you're going to want to do. You will take the two points and graph them. In other words, negative three, two. So no, one, two, three, and then two. That's your first point. Oops. Okay. The second point is three, negative three. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And here we go. Oops. What in the world? I just erased my first point. Okay. One, two, three, and then two. There's my first one. Okay. Oh. This is weird. Okay. So you can go ahead and just kind of connect those two dots in a nice straight line. Ugh. Okay, they say find the equation of a line passing through blah. Okay, forget it. Don't think. Y equals mx plus b. Slope y-intercept. Okay. First off, you're not going to be able to find the y-intercept. I mean, as pathetic as that line is, even if you draw it straight. If you hit like in the middle somewhere, I mean, what is that? Like negative a half, a third, a fourth? No way you can tell that. Don't even try to guess. But you can tell the slope, right? Because you can tell the slope by going, okay, well, from this point to that point, first off, how far down am I going? Let me just put a different color here. You can go, you know, how far down am I going to get to there and how far over am I going to get to there? And is this thing going down or is it going up? Well, if it's going down like it is, what does it immediately tell you about the sign of the M? It's going to be negative, right? Okay, so you can go to the next step if you want. Y equals negative X plus B. Just do one thing at a time. Okay, well, let's count. Let's go up or down. Well, from here to there, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. There's my five. So the top number is going to be five. Let's find the bottom number. Okay. From here to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. That's my six. Okay. You see how we have to find the slope? Count down. Boom. Is it going down or up? Negative or positive? You got it. Now you're only missing one thing. The B. Well, again, there ain't no way you're going to be able to look at this and go, oh, I can eyeball this and tell you it's two elevens. No one, no human can do that. Okay. Um... So there's got to be another way where we can find the B. Well, look at this equation. Look at that red equation. You are trying to find the B. If you were to find the B, okay, what would you need values for? You've already got a number right here, but you'd need numbers for what else? So you had nothing but numbers and a B. You'd need a number for the X, right? And you'd also need a number for the Y. Correct? In other words, if you had a number for that and then a number for that, everything would be numbers. You could go, oh, I'm going to mash all my numbers on one side and I'm going to solve for B. Oh, B equals whatever it is. Well, you do have numbers for X and Y right here and right here. You can choose either one of them. It'll work exactly the same as the other, even though they look like they are different numbers, which they are. Okay. So I don't care which one you choose. Just choose whichever one is easier is what I would suggest. Let's just try the first one. Don't forget, this negative 3 and 2, look at it. Negative 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2. In other words, this is an x value right here. This is a y value. The x is negative 3, 
the y is 2. Well, that's all you need. Right there, there's your x value, there's a y value. Once you plop those in there, you've got all the numbers, you can just figure out what v is, right? Let's do it. Well, the y is going to be 2, right? So the y is 2. Then I have negative 5 over 6 times the x is negative 3. I'll just put negative 3 over 1 and then plus a v. And there we go. So 2 is going to equal, and negative times a negative is a positive. And 15 is on the top, and 6 is on the bottom. Well, if you divide 3 into both of those, you get 5 halves plus b. Now let's go ahead and write the 2 as something with a 2 on the bottom, on the denominator, so it's the same. So that'll be 4 halves, right? Okay. Well, if b is equal to, you know, let's write a new equation. Let's go, we go left to right. b plus 5 halves is equal to 4 halves. Well, if we want to solve for b, we just subtract 4, I mean, excuse me, 5 halves from both sides, right? So b is equal to 4 halves minus 5 halves. Well, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So b is equal to negative 1 half. And that's reasonable, right? It's about right there. If I were to draw my thing a little better. So that's it. We've got it. There's our equation. y is equal to... We figured out the slope is negative 5 over 6x and then minus 1 half. And there we go. And again, very quickly, you, when they say finding the equation of a line path, just go y equals mx plus b. The slope is the m, the b is the y-intercept. you got to find, okay, you're going to count the slope, figure out whether it goes up or down so it's negative or positive. Once you get that, you go, okay, now i got to find this b. How do I find b? I need a value for an x. I need a value for, your, for a y. Oop, there they are. I can choose one of those, plop it in there, solve for b. There we go. I got it, and you're done. Okay. First step is to write that basic equation. Let's do another one. Well, good grief, this is even easier. Find the equation of a line that passes through, blah, blah, blah. Okay, again, don't try to think about it. Just write y equals m x plus b, all right? You need your m, you need your b, all right? Passes through negative 4, 7, okay, whatever. It has a slope of negative 3. Oh, it gives us a slope. Look at that. So now we can write it. y is equal to negative 3 fifths x plus b. That was easy. Okay, well, we need to find the b. To find the b, we need a value for x and a value for y. There's a value for x and a value for y right there. There they are. There's my x. There's my y. So let's just stick it in there. So y is going to be 7. x is going to be negative 4. And b is going to be, we don't know. Okay. Well, we know it passes through negative 4, 7. So let's go, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then up there to 7, okay, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, did I do that right? Okay. All right, well, let's see. Negative times a negative is a positive, so 7 is equal to 12 over 5 plus b. <clears throat> All right, I don't like that 7. I want that to be a, you know, something with a 5 in the denominator. So that's going to be a 35. All right, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You just take the 12 fifths and move it over there. 35 fifths minus 12 fifths <clears throat> is 23 fifths. So that's B. There we go. And that's our equation where we had just the slope. And if we have the y-intercept, it'll be y is equal to negative 3 fifths x and then plus 23 over B. There we go. That's it. Let's try this. What the heck? Um... If the slope is negative 3 fifths, that means we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and oops, there's my other point. If you were just to go like this and kind of like connect the, uh, the dot like this, you know, okay, well, you know, your y-intercept is what, 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, and a little more than 4, right? Well, we say right here that the y-intercept is a little more than 4. What's 23 divided by 5? 4, right? And 3 fifths. Well, that's what that point is if I were to draw that correctly. There you go. Follow us to it.
Okay. All right. Give it a, a whirl. Uh, pause it and try A and see what you get. Okay. Well, they give you the harder one first, for heaven's sakes. Don't think. Just write. Y equals slope X plus Y intercept. Passes through negative 2, 4, and 3, negative 1. Okay, fine. So, let's see here. Negative 2, 4 is 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Don't do that to me. Come on, Emma. All right. I have to talk to my computer tenderly sometimes. And it passes through 3 and negative 1. So, 1, 2, 3, and then negative 1. There we go. Okay. So, I go from here to here in a nice, beautiful line. Okay, well, let's figure out what the slope is, how far down I go, how far over I go, and all that jazz. Well, first off, I go down this far. Okay, and then I go to the right this far. Okay, well, first off, it's going to be a negative slope, right? You know that. Okay, so I have y is equal to negative something x plus b. We know it's negative because it's pointing down. So let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the top number. And then from here to here, one, two, three, four, five. Well, looky there. That's another five. Well, we don't have to write five divided by five. That's dumb. Let's just write negative one, right? Or just negative. We don't need, I don't need to write a number at all. Just negative x plus b. I'll stop right there. That makes sense? I could write a negative five over five. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Just the same thing as one. I might just re, you know, reduce the fraction and you got it. So, okay. Good enough. Now we need the b. Well, you know, you could choose negative 2, 4, or you could choose negative 3, negative, or excuse me, 3, negative 1. It doesn't matter. I mean, believe it. It, it. it doesn't matter which one you choose. In fact, you, if you wanted to get a few extra giggles, you could try both of these and you'd go, well, they both work exactly the same thing. So anyway, well, let's just go ahead and try. Uh, I'll use an exciting new color here, green. That's my equation I want to kind of poodle around with a little bit. I'm gonna, I'll just use the second one, whatever. That's the x, that's the 3, and that's the uh, negative 1's the y. So I'll just put negative 1, y, equals negative times x, that would be negative 3, plus b, right? Okay, good enough. Well, b is going to be, move the 3 over, 3 minus 1 is 2. So b is 2. So here's our equation, you ready? We already had this part. Oh, forget that, I wanted to use this one. Okay, so we have that part. So it's going to be y is equal to negative x plus 2, right? Because this is our 2. There we go. By the way, does it look like our drawing has a 2 as a, a y, uh, y intercept? Yeah, look, if I were to draw that better, it'd be right there. There you go. Y equals negative x plus 2. Okay, let's try b. Go ahead and pause it and try b. Well, again, good grief, this is easier. Okay, it has a slope. Well, okay, well, let's just do it. So don't think y equals slope x plus the y-intercept. Well, they tell us the slope, for heaven's sakes. There it is. So y is equal to negative two-thirds x plus b. Okay? Well, they give you the x and they give you the y. They figure out what the b is. So let's just slop it in there. All right? So the y is 6. So there's my 6. That equals negative two-thirds times the x is negative 3. I'll call it over 1, plus a b. Um, well, a negative times a negative is a positive. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 6 is equal to 2 plus b. Well, that means b is 4. So we got it. This is what we want to use. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. That's it. You know what? Let's just test it. Y is negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Well, let's try it. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's my y-intercept, right? Negative 2 thirds x. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's, give it a, let's give it a whirl here. Uh, let's see. And I'm going down. So what? Uh, you know, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3. Right? I'm pointing down. So, you know, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3. There it is. That's my... Goes like that. Okay, it says that it passes through negative 3, 6. So let's check it out. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Lo and behold, we're right. There it is. Okay. All right, just a reminder. 
when they say, find the equation of the line to, don't even go any farther. Don't even read any farther. Just write y equals mx plus b. Then look at what they give you, and then piddle around and do one little part at a time, and you'll get it. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Have a great day.